so uh, yesterday what we learned yesterday we learned about you know writing select statement so uh, writing select statement to read data from a database table and storing the information into one internal table and then you know using loop statement to read the internal table and print the data on the output screen so this is what we learned yesterday so in order to write this select statement uh, to read data into one internal table what we need what we did here we defined one internal table with the structure what we need and then we defined one you know uh, declared one internal table like initially we de we defined a structure and then one internal table and then one work area so all these objects we defined first and then we written the select statement clear and then we written the loop statement to write on the output screen so this is uh, this can be you know uh, how many lines of code we got here around you know 30 31 lines are there the same th kind of code we can write in a very simpler manner using the latest inline declaration kind you know uh, kind of uh, syntaxes so now we are going to see how to do that one okay so i am keeping this program as it is and i am cre creating a new program to show how we can modify this program uh, in a different way okay same program we are going to write it so what we are going to do now um, Uh, what is happening is so earlier we are used to refine the structure and the internal table work area but using the inline declaration what it is inline declaration it means declaration will be happened at the time of usage directly here the declaration will happened earlier and then we used the variables or you know tables to update the uh, data but declaration can be done at runtime it means select so no need of writing structure and defining internal table work area explicitly what we can do we can directly go for the select statement select what are the two fields we need slash bic slash gsr matnr matnr slash bic slash gsn mat group okay from table slash bic slash p z s r m a t n r hmm? into sorry, into table okay so after the into table we are supposed to write the internal table name correct but to, we are not yet defined internal table name so no need to define by using this at the rate data so this is the notation where it represents the internal table okay at the rate data keyword at the rate data lt underscore gsr matner okay but when using this kind of you know uh, we no need to keep a bracket uh, spaces also after bracket at the rate of data within the brackets we need to keep the internal table name what will happen now at runtime based upon the fields you are selecting from the select statement system will uh, you know uh, system will create the internal table for you with the structure of the select statement output whatever this select statement is providing output to store that output at runtime system will create the corresponding internal table okay but when using this kind of statement we need to little bit tweak our you know select statement syntax earlier we are not supposed to use any commas all the fields are one one after another right but whenever you are using this inline declaration you must separate the fields in the select statement with the comma operator okay and then into database table where obj verse is equal to active version a okay now if i click on check button you see it is 100 percent correct so no error in syntax errors are there so at the rate of data is a inline declaration kind of statement which is used to define the internal tables okay so using this way uh, how many lines of code i got reduced here around three uh, four yeah four lines six lines of code got reduced because we are directly using it now after 
after the data coming to the internal table now what i am going to do i have need to write the loop statement to write the output on the output screen um, loop it lt underscore gs and magner into now after this loop statement we need to loop the internal table into one work area kind of field now work area also i can define at uh, you know at inline like whenever i am using it so ls underscore g mm, sr magnet okay so you see now if i click on check button there are no um, no errors so in, in instead of you know defining data keyword and defining work area and internal table we are directly using them at uh, defining them at the place of where we need it okay and then um yeah right keyword right keyword ls underscore so everything is same from here um ls underscore my uh, magnet and then right keyword One second uh, ls underscore right yes ls underscore metal group done full stop right by just uh, while debugging i want since i want to show you while debugging i'm writing one extra keyword right so you see so our our coding lines got reduced a lot so no need of you know explicitly defining any structure here no internal table no work area directly at the right answer statement itself i can define it and then here also again so this is the way how we can use inline declaration in our programming code okay i'm activating my program so i'm keeping you know uh, executing initially to see the output so yeah because of uh, not using new line character everything is coming at one after another then activate one more time execute you see all the four records came okay now i will debug this one i will show you how it is working hmm. you see here now what is happening whenever i am pressing double clicking on this lt jsr magnar system is defining already you know other two fields so how system knows the structure of this one i didn't define any structure for this internal table but how system identified what was the structure of it because this select statement is not yet executed correct so how it have it was a get to know is by seeing the definition of the select statement you in from the select statement i am defining two columns right so for the same two columns sap defined already one structure uh, for this one but because it is of type table then it was uh, created with the table type when coming to here since i am looping to this internal table into one of the work area so already this def definition was available on the top line so automatically it created the same kind of work area for us okay when i press f5 so data coming into my internal table and when i am pressing you know uh, executing the loop statement system data was written onto the output screen okay i hope it is clear so this is the way of how to do use the uh, inline declaration in our abap code okay so next just a second 